Hello everyone, welcome to chapter 6 of the CIA video series for this book. In this chapter, or in this particular video, we'll be covering impersonation attacks. More specifically, we will be covering the process of uh, performing or impersonating uh, privileged user tokens manually. So, uh, within the chapter, we already covered, uh, you know, both techniques, how to do it manually and automatically uh, with Metasploit, Meterpreter, so on and so forth. And uh, we actually went quite in depth in terms of explaining how the potato attacks work. Um, so, we are going to be essentially demonstrating the process of elevating privileges manually using the potato attack. Uh, that being said, let's get started. So um, again, as I mentioned in the book, uh, you can run this on any target system. Of course, uh, to demonstrate this particular vulnerability and exploitation process, you need an, an actual operating system that is vulnerable. And in, in uh, most cases, uh, you have the Windows 7, uh, you have Windows 7 that is vulnerable and Windows Server 2008. So you can actually uh, try the same attack on the Windows Server 2008 or Metasploitable 3 virtual machine that we had set up. But for the purpose of this particular demonstration, we are going to be using the Windows 7 virtual machine. So I already have access on, you know, to the target system. And, uh, you know, if I, you, if I get the user ID, you can see we're currently, um, we are currently have access as the unprivileged user account. And uh, our objective again is to exploit uh, or to you know perform the potato attack in order to elevate our privileges, and we're going to take a look at how to do this manually. So, in order to identify uh, you know vulnerabilities in regards to impersonation attacks, we need to use the Windows Exploit Suggester. So, again, I'll just open up uh, another terminal here, and uh, I already have the Windows Exploit Suggester tool on my desktop. Um, so, wind under Windows Enum and uh, Windows Exploit Suggester, there we are. And I've already saved, uh, as we did in the first video, uh, in the previous video, the Windows 7 system information. So again, if I get into a shell session here, uh, ensure that you copy over the system information into a text file, we will then use that particular text file in conjunction with the Windows Exploit Suggester to identify vulnerabilities. All right, so we'll say Windows Exploit Suggester and we'll specify the database file. In this case, I already have my database here and then system info. And then I specify the location where I actually stored the system information file. And in this case, it's on my desktop and it's called windows7.txt. I then hit enter and it's going to begin identifying vulnerabilities. Now we are going to be looking for impersonation attacks that can lead to privilege escalation. So I'm just going to drag this to the side here for a second. And if we scroll to the top here, you should be able to identify the Microsoft uh, vulnerability ID MS16075. And you can see security update for Windows SMB server. And uh, this is important. So um, what this does, again, uh, you can see it, it uh, provides references to the various uh, GitHub repositories that contain the exploits. Uh, but it also has references to, you know, the hot potato attack on Foxglove security and a few other reference links here. So if we click on the Rotten Potato GitHub link here, which I'll just copy and I'll open this up in Firefox so we can learn more about this particular exploit. Um, so again, just give that a few seconds. All right, so I'm just gonna paste the link in here. There we go, uh, Rotten Potato. And um, you can see that uh, it has been updated and you can actually use Rotten Potato NG. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to use this. So again, uh, local privilege escalation from Windows service accounts to system. And it does this through impersonation. So you can see we can compile the exploit code. And uh, once we run the, ex uh, the exploit code, uh, we get a meterpreter shell on the target system. We then need to load the incognito module and then run the binary, and then we can finally impersonate the anti-authority system token there in order to elevate our privileges, right? Um, so you can actually view, um, you know, as per, as per how we explained it in the book and how it works, if you wanted more information regarding that, you can, uh, you know, you can always refer to, the, uh, to, to this particular chapter. Um, so we will be downloading the pre-compiled exploit, which I'll, I already have downloaded on my target system. So I'm just going to, uh, resize this here and um, what we need to do now is we actually need to copy it over to the target right and of course um, copying it over to the target manually will involve uh, setting up the 
um, or setting up a web server. And of course, we can utilize the simple HTTP server. So I'm just going to head over to the location where, where I have the rottenpotato.exe um, exploit. And I'll, uh, that is under Windows exploit, right? And uh, it's under the potato folder. And right over here, you can see we have rottenpotato.exe. So I'll now say sudo python m simple HTTP server. And I'll say we want to run that on port 80. I'll provide my password and it's going to host that particular file for us. All right, excellent. So now to download it onto the target, we're just going to download it again to the user accounts download directory. We'll use the cert util utility. So cert util uh, URL, URL cache and we'll save it. And uh, I'll just provide the Kali IP address here, which in my case is 10, 10, 10, 5. And the name of the ex executable is rotten potato exe and uh, we will save it as uh, rp.exe just so that it's, it's shorter and uh, we don't have to spend too much time uh, you know typing it out so there we are we're going to hit enter and that is going to download the rotten potato exe file from our web server that we just set up and uh, it looks like that has completed uh, that has actually completed successfully so what we need to do now is we actually need to get back into a interpreter session like so and uh, we first of all need to load the incognito module. So load incognito, there we go. And that's loaded correctly. Now, if we say list, uh, if we list out the current tokens that we have now, list tokens U, you can see we only have the, uh, the current user tokens available. We are primarily going to be interested in impersonation tokens and of course the NT authority system token. Now, in all, uh, now, the next step, of course, is going to involve uh, running the exploit. So in order to do that, I'm just going to bounce back into my shell and I'm just going to run the exploit now. So rp.exe and we're then going to hit enter and it's going to begin the attack. So again, just give that a few seconds. And if it runs successfully, it should actually tell us that we are now system. And once that is done, we can go back into our metaphor session and list the available tokens and then impersonate the NT authority system access token. And uh, we should have NT authority privileges, right? So again, we'll just give this a few seconds to run. All right, so uh, once the exploit is complete, as I said, it should tell you you're now system. And the next step, of course, is to actually, um, is to actually impersonate the NT authority token. And uh, the way we can do this, again, as I said, is we need to make sure that we have incognito loaded. So I'm just going to terminate that and head back into our interpreter session. So I'm going to say load inco incognito. Um, and um, that's good. That can actually be loaded. And if, I think I already have it loaded, but there we are. So that's lo loaded now. And if we list out the tokens, uh, so we say list tokens uh, user and uh, you can now see the uh, impersonation token that we actually have. We we have the NT authority system token here. So we can impersonate that by simply typing in impersonate token. So we say impersonate, impersonate token. And then I'm going to put in the name of the access token there. And it should say we have successfully impersonated the user NT authority system. And now if I say get use ID, uh, get UID, there we are. You can now see we have, uh, we, we now have admin privileges on the target and we've been able to successfully elevate our privileges on the target system. So that is how to perform the potato, the potato attack uh, manually in order to elevate your privileges. Now, of course, I've explained the process of doing it both automatically uh, using Metasploit um, and of course using the inbuilt Metasploit modules which you can also use as well but it's also uh, quite important to learn how to do this uh, manually using and you know learn how to identify exploits using the Windows exploits you just there how to copy them over to the target system so on and so forth and I'll be seeing you in the next chapter.